Hey, 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 Taurus. This is your sacred scribe here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is going to be a reading for my Taurus's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Taurus, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. Uh, please use that link in the description box if you are interested, as there are many tarot card impersonators about the tarot community. And know that if you order a tarot reading from me, you will always see my face in a video and receive an unlisted link that you can access forever and ever. Also, don't forget to comment. Let me know if this resonates and hit that notification bell. All right, Taurus, let's see. What do you got here? We have the Magician, the Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. Hmm. There's something you're manifesting. You may need to walk away from something here with the Eight of Cups in order to walk into the Nine of Cups. Whatever this is, though, it is definitely faded. Something is ending, so something new can begin. So let's see what this is about. Tell me about the Magician. This is Gemini energy. What's going on with the Magician? What you manifesting? Hmm, Four of Pentacles. Page of Swords. Okay, this is something, what you're manifesting, Taurus, is something that you have not let go of. So if it's a dream, it's a dream that you hung on to that you haven't let go of. So this could be many things, right? For some of you, this could be love. Um, it could be an actual person. It could be just the idea of love. See, we have three of cups here, and that's dating. Now, with the page of swords here, Whatever this is, it's like you've really been looking inside to make sure. I, it's almost like you're looking inside to confirm this dream, this manifestation. Yeah, see, the Empress. This is going to lead to major expansion. This is exactly, this is exactly what you need. Tell me about the Three of Cups. This is something that you're going to rejoice in. Yeah. Whatever this is, it's going to help build your world. It is a component of the world in which you want to build with the Queen of Pentacles. Right? Because the Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy, builds his or her world with heart. So when you enter a Queen of Pentacles world, you feel that energy. So what is the Wheel of Fortune here? What's ending? So the sun. Wow. So great happiness is meant for you. Knight of Cups. Let me see what this is. Knight of Cups. The Judgment. Some of you are manifesting a love offer. This could be somebody from the past, or this could be somebody that is a soulmate. Who is this Knight of Cups? Who is this Knight of Cups? So this is a Queen of Wands. Could be an Aries Leo Sag. Okay, this is somebody who knows how to manifest, is very good looking, very confident in who they are. What do you think about this love offer here? Let's see. What do you think? The hanged man. It's it's an offer you've been waiting for. So for some of you, it's a person you've been waiting for. But for some of you, it's an offer you've been waiting for. Six of Cups. This could be a twin or a soulmate here. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. What are you walking away from? The Three of Wands. 
okay, there's something, all right, you've been waiting for something. And it's almost like you're waiting to walk away from one thing to begin another. Nine of Pentacles. Now this could be career. What is this Nine of Pentacles? The moon. This is hidden from you right now. But what I'm getting towards is that this is something you've been waiting for. Even though it's hidden and it's going to be a surprise. What is this? The Five of Cups and the Fool. If you guys have been sad about a past love relationship and this is something that you have not been able to move past, I feel like you will. And as soon as this is let go of, I don't know if that's the key. It's almost like that may be the key to turn to turn this event, this happening, to, to, to open it up. Oh, Mercury retrograde. Because you're taking a leap of faith here. This doesn't, it, this could be career, this could be love. What are you taking a leap of faith on? Because it is the Nine of Cups, right? It is a wish fulfillment. Uh, this is love, or it could be something that you love to do if it is career. Ace of Cups. So the Three of Wands talks about distance as well. So this could be, if it's a new love, somebody at a distance. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. What is this? The world. So this is a new beginning. You've been wishing for this, and it's here. You're getting this new beginning. Yep, Six of Wands. Could be with the Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius here. Two of Wands. Some of you could be moving. We do have some moving cards here. And it's like the Five of Cups is also can represent like what you're leaving behind. It doesn't, you know, it's usually romantic, but I, I'm getting that it would just be leaving, you know, this could be family, friends, or whatever behind, especially if you're moving here and moving on. Okay because of this new love. Can you tell me about this new love for Taurus? Ace of Swords. This is going to be a love that's based on truth. There's going to be a lot of communication here. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Three of Pentacles. This could be somebody that you're really building something solid with. Four of Wands, Twin Flame Energy. But it talks about stability. So there is a lot of stability in this union. You're going to work very well together as a team here. Yeah, and you're going to be able to plant seeds. These seeds are going to be a fruit. And I'm feeling, they bring me back to the Empress here. I'm feeling that this fruit is really going to grow into something grand. I'm getting the word grand six of pentacles i was just asking about a time frame i play with time sometimes with the tower even though time is fluid this is what came out six of pentacles now this is libra energy this could be six weeks six months six days can you clarify six of pentacles the tower okay all right, something's going to instigate this. Something's something shocking. What is this tower? What's this tower? The Knight of Wands. Something happens and you're off. That's it. It something happens and you're off. That's all she wrote. Can you clarify again? Queen of Cups. This could be this love offer just bam coming in out of the blue. And it just changes your world in an instant. I am getting things happening fast. Whenever this happens, it's like one thing after the other. Seven of Wands. Yeah, this is something you're, you're fighting for this. 
for everything that's on this board, okay? I do feel career here, but it's mixed with love. What's the career? The star and the five of pentacles. So if you've been feeling a lack of substance in career, a lack of money in career, it's turning around with the star card. Justice, here we have Libra again. Now, this talks about making a decision. There could be an upcoming decision about career that you're making, but you need to listen to your intuition. There is a transformation that's occurring. You could be stepping into something different. Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Why is that here? Nine of Wands. Why is the Seven of Swords here? King of Swords. Okay, when it comes to career, be careful about dealing with a possible Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius here. Something shady is here. What's going on with the King of Swords and the Seven of Swords? What's going on? The Hierophant, there you are. Four of Swords. Well, some sort of um, commitment. Be careful because they may back out of a commitment if it's to do with career. Okay, so we have six of swords and we have five of wands. So that's moving on, the six of swords, right? But I feel like you're moving on to a state of peace here. But this king of swords may begin conflict. But I, I feel like it's not going to bother you. That's what I feel like. Why is this nine of wands here? Page of wands. I feel like you're guarded right because of wounds of the past but you're gonna get past this i'm gonna get some kipper on what's going on with career for taurus with this king of swords what's going on in the star what's going on with career what marriage see that's why i was feeling the career mixed with marriage what's going on with career adjudication thoughts you may just get up and marry very quickly right what about love bad health okay this person that's coming into your life great fortune maybe dealing with some bad health or maybe somebody around them is in bad health that could be some sort of hold up the community Unless this is you in bad health, and this is what's holding up the manifestation of this, yeah, this courtship here. But there's great, there's great fortune here. You guys are going to do something awesome within the community. Yeah, toil and labor. But that's not, the toil and labor is you guys just working together. Poverty, I feel like you may be working with people that are in poverty. You may be helping them in some sort of way. Family room. Helping families. What else? Journey. You're also going to be doing a lot of traveling. And this has to do despair. I feel like you're helping a lot of people. Okay, there's a lot of people here. The community is here. And I feel like this person that you're coming together with, you're forming a bond that is very solid. Great fortune behind that. I feel like this great fortune is going to be utilized to help people in poverty, in despair, maybe finding them homes, building them homes I'm getting from this family room. I really feel like you're uplifting the community here. I don't know what it is you're doing be like besides that but yeah i feel like you're also going to get married very quickly possibly for some of you if not it is a long-term commitment 
Wow. Be careful about getting all up in your thoughts with this imprisoned state. Okay, because that is a prison of your own making. Advice for Taurus. Secrets. Conceal plans and actions from those not ready to accept you as you are. And I did get a sense of that here. Okay, so whatever this is, wherever you're going, you're moving forward, this relationship, I don't feel you should say anything, right? Number one rule of manifestation, don't say anything. It's between you and God, okay? And you want to keep it that way because then it forms its own energetic field, all right? And if nobody knows what this manifestation is, nobody can affect it but you and God or whomever you'd like to call God. Transformation. Allow the energy of fear to be transformed by love creativity and compassion i'm getting this very strongly okay taurus all right taurus i hope this resonated please drop a like below share and subscribe if you already haven't if you're interested in a personal reading that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs information can be found in the description box below please utilize that link if you are interested as there are many tarot card impersonators and scammers running amok in the community also note that if you do get a tarot reading from me, you will see me on video and you will also receive an unlisted link that you will have access to forever and ever. All right, Taurus, you have a good one. Don't forget to comment. Let me know if this resonates and hit that notification bell and I'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.